and welcome everybody here on Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Stony Bannerman. Going to be our last meme tier donation deck today. This one's going to be an aggressive Demacia deck where we're going to be curving out, going wide with our Demacia units, but also having a lot of card advantage for whenever we uh, run out of cards in the late game. We're going to have Hexcore Foundries help us uh, be able to play even more cards and uh, get, get those extra cards for us. Um, we're also going to be playing Mobilize in here to, so that we can just unload our hand super fast, right? Because if we have extra cards, especially extra cards from Hexcore Foundry, we can cast a Mobilize, make everything cheaper, and then just unload our hand and uh, really pressure the opponent. That's going to be our goal. Stony Suppressor, hopefully slowing them down. It, it does slow down our Mobilize, but hopefully slowing down our opponent as well. If we can mobilize first, then we can drop like one mana Stony Suppressor. And then like these kind of cards will cost zero mana, Cythria, Fleet Feather Tracker, all that kind of stuff. And then, you know, all these cost less, like Lucian's only one mana, Vanguard Bannerman's only three mana, and everything. Um, so, so like, for example, with if, if, if it's like turn five and our opponent, you know, has done stuff like we've been trading off or whatever, like maybe we had like this Hexcore Foundry, so we had extra cards. Suddenly on turn five, like even after, you know, after like some things are dead, we can just go, we can use our three spell mana for mobilize and then just drop like, you know, Fleet Feather Tracker plus Cythria for zero mana and then like Lucian for one mana, Stony Suppressor for one mana, and then still have Bannerman. We can play all of those in one turn on turn five. We could play like, <laughs> like five things, you know, with Bannerman um, all together and then just like really surprise them and, and attack for a ton. That's just like an example, you know, but that's that's kind of what our deck's going to be doing. Should be doing some cool stuff like that. We'll have Senna pairing with the Lucian. We're going to have single combat um, to go along with the Senna that can level up our Lucian. Um, we are also going to uh, going to have our other PNZ card be Get Excited, a good removal spell that can also deal damage upstairs because, you know, like these Demacia decks don't always have that kind of reach that can uh, finish off the Nexus. And so a couple of Get Exciteds will help us with that extra reach. All right, so that, that would be cool. And then we got Cythria with the Fearsome for whenever we're going wide. So let's give it a try. Stony Bannerman, we're playing on over in normal because it's meme tier day today. I could see this deck doing pretty well, though. Okay. All right, playing against some burn. It's not necessarily the best to give burn extra cards as far as uh, Hexcore Foundry goes. So not the best Hexcore Foundry matchup. Um, I do like the size of Garen and the regeneration and everything like that. I'll write my own story. So keeping that. Explosives prime. Ready. And definitely want to lead with the 2-2 here because of Jury Rig. We don't want to like play Fleet Feather Tracker and try attacking and they just Jury Rig block. That would have been really good to pair with the Fleet Feather Tracker. Time for the main event. Mr. Chance to run. Yeah, I mean, I think I'm just going Bannerman into Garen. Time for the money makers. Let's do you know, Bannerman into Garen into Cythria. Do our Demacia stuff. For king and country. Look, everyone, Captain Dog. Rules are made to be broken. Like me. For people. You should try blinking sometime. Try me. And yeah, they can, they can kill Garen, like Jinx plus uh, Spinning Axe. But that would kill their jinx, so I'd be happy about that. They may have. Okay, I was gonna say they may have Draven's Whirling Death. Yes. Uh, wait, well, let's see. Okay, so quick question Is there a way to change the card back for every deck or set 
a new standard. You can change. You can individually change each deck in your collection. You can change the card back on the deck, um, but I you can't set like a default for every deck goes to this specific card. This specific card art. So they're going to My shield is yours. by me waiting on what I single combat. They do get to create the super mega death rocket. We must not relent. Oh, okay, an expedition. Like the okay, like these card backs and everything in expedition. There is a mode whenever you're in expedition. I'll show you after the match. We I can go show you after the match, but but I guess whenever you're looking at your deck in expedition, there's like a way to change your um your loadout. Alright, maybe I can't take all of that. You're welcome. So yeah, yeah. There's a there's a space where you can change the loadout whenever you're playing. All right, not the best time for the mobilizes. I thought they were going to put that on the Draven and trade with the Garen, but I guess they didn't want their Draven to die. But I kind of felt like that's what they had to do. I can't make it, so I just die to get excited. Oh, wow, rummage. That's pretty nice. But should still be fine. Hopefully no jury rig. Or, yeah, whirling death. Yeah, I guess you're right. Yeah, whirling death's even worse for me. Than jury rig. That's what y'all do. Y'all give them the best possible card. Draven out. I'll make those spinny axes cost a mana. Good thing I held on to the mobilize to discard for get excited. Okay, one and zero. Oh. Ooh, Soraka Tom Kench. Don't play against this deck too much, but it's a pretty good one. I think I like Stony Suppressor here, right? Stony Suppressor, good? Question mark. I think it is. No Sithra is really slow, but it is big, and I kind of need. Big for a single, like, you know, Tom Kench, Soraka, they require big. I don't know, like, they have a bunch of units and they have, like, the landmark. I'm not sure what the Stony Suppressor is going to do. Push back the darkness. I'm letting Box Supposed kill that. Okay. Nice 
That card's weird. Space. Ha! <laughs> the hush got burned. So I didn't play the Bright Steel Protector so that I can still have single combat right here. Please not astral protection. No. Uh, I did not want to see that card. Hmm. Yeah, I did not want to see that card. Yeah, I mean they they drew tons and tons of cards, right? So not too surprising that they had it. I'm making them burn some cards, though. I'm getting two while, while they're getting one. So that's kind of cool. It's too late now. Show them what we're made of. And there we go. Save the single combat for that. Let's get Lucian back. And there we go. Sony Suppressors shutting down their hand. All right. 2 0. See, that's kind of cool. Make them, you know, we both draw lots of cards, but that deck are, over there already, like, drew a lot of cards anyway, so they, they just didn't have room for all those extra cards, but we did. And then make things cost more, make their life more difficult with all their protection spells and everything, with them all costing more. Ooh. Aurelian Soul. So I want Hexcore Foundry. I think so. Because, like, this kind of deck runs you out of cards, right? Because, like, they have all these Celestial stuff. So they're going to run us out of cards. So Hexcore Foundry, good because, again, while they play all their cards that replace themselves and get all the extra Celestial cards, we can keep refilling our hand. This is, yeah, we've been playing against this deck a decent amount recently, Leona, really, and Soul. I haven't, I haven't seen it a decent amount. This is like the third time in the last like four or five days. Yeah, they also do have pretty expensive cards, which is good for me. Well, that is the best possible for them. But now we have this 5-3 double attack. Get to attack him with that thing. So they're going to be looking for Equinox. Most likely. I want to find Lucian. Nope. 
Lucian, nope. Go ahead, scare me. So they can hush. I'm what nightmares fear. My gun does the talking. You cannot sway me. Yeah, their plan is block hush. So we're, we're trading two for two. Okay. So still trading three for... Th or let's see. I guess that... Three for two there. I mean, it, it got rid of my single combat and my Senna. Two cards and then three cards for them. Hush. Single combat. And they're two drop. Lucian! Lucian! Ooh, there's Lucian. Alright, so I have two other mana if I play Lucian and Senna. The dawn has arrived. Lame. We want our Lucian to die, not get obliterated, to level up Senna. No. Lucian. Lucian! My shield is yours. Go ahead. Scare me. Ever vigilant. So I could have get excited the Leona and then challenge the one two and hit them for ten. Um, but decided just to go this route where I keep both of my things alive, keep the get excited. I didn't do like the 10 damage to them, but I keep all my cards. They are light shine forever. See, they're gonna have lots and lots of cards. Yeah, I see that's four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, so they're gonna burn a card from the Hexcore Foundry. Sentinels of light don't fear the dark. Are they gonna have judgment? That's the question. Alright, so like I can make this attack. And it's very easily lethal. But judgment. Judgment's worrisome. I can't really do anything about it, though. I think I make the attack. Yeah, I th I think I make the attack. And if they have judgment, we continue on. That is not judgment. So it puts them to two. And I can't save that, like, even, like, Ranger's result. Like, I can't save it, so... Might as well just let it all happen. No. Guiding Touch is like the one card they could be playing that would keep them alive right now. So there we go. Have them tap out. Because if, if I do the Get Excited during combat, then they're like, if like let's say they have Guiding Touch in hand, then they're like, okay, now I definitely need a Guiding Touch right now. Okay. This is pretty nice. Like, this Hexcore Foundry, like, with how, you know, like, playing, like, all these aggressive stuff low to the ground, and our opponent just gets stuck with all these cards in hand, right? Like, they just have, like, sure, like, they're playing, like, these Targon decks that never run out of cards, but 
the hex core foundry is like, well, I'm not going to run out cards either, and <laughs> our cards are going to be cheaper, and we'll get rid of them faster. Ooh, all Shirima. All right, channel point prediction has started. Feel free to wager your channel points, whether we're going to win or lose. Okay, so we need to curve out and have our units still. Yeah, we need units. Okay. Okay, okay. Oh, would you look at this place? Ooh, all right. They didn't kill my fleet feather tracker. You're covered. See what we see. All right, we got both Lucian and Senna together. Attack, make a Sand Soldier. I want something that we could play this turn with Senna. And it is Senna after Lucian, so if they use a removal spell to kill Lucian, then our Senna double attacks afterwards. Alright, so this puts them to six. Right now. Um. I hope they don't have quicksand. If they don't have quicksand, this is like probably just a win. So because like this levels up Lucian. Gets rid of that blocker. We do one extra point of damage, and now we have the attack token again. Because we had something die afterwards, and so yeah, now we have the attack token again, and there we go. Alright, 4-0. That means we're gonna be taking it on over to ranked for our next game. Okay, game five, we're going to be playing in ranked with this meme tier deck. Usually we just play in normal, but we're 4-0, oh, so we're giving it the uh, ultimate test on over in ranked, and we got Aphelio, Zoe. That is going to be quite the test. Um, I kind of like these two spells. I know we don't usually keep a whole lot of spells in this kind of deck, but both of these champions are a huge pain. We can use Sharp Sight. To block Zoe, we can use Get Excited to kill um, to kill Aphelios. No, no super cool star chart for you. We do need some more powerful stuff than just one mana cards. Bask in her radiant blessing. 
So we are gonna need like our hex core foundry. Like hex yeah, hex core foundry would be like maybe our best draw of just like helping us refill our hand, because y'all know those kind of decks never run out of cards. Garen, perfect. You know, that's a more powerful card. Exactly what we need. We need power. See, we are running out of cards pretty fast. So yeah, Foundry would be really nice. So they have... Okay, there we go. There's one of them. I was going to say they have two Celestial cards. They're cheap. We fight for those who cannot. Get him, Garen. So they still have, because they have the card from the Fangs, Celestial card from the Fangs, and I think they have the Celestial card from the 1-2 also. So I think they have a 4 through 6 mana Celestial card. And then the one from the Fangs. A little bit of odd timing on this card. One star's whoopsie is another spark. So I think that they're looking for the 0 mana 2-1 Challenger with that block on the Stony Suppressor. That'd be my guess. The more fair version. Yeah, I mean, Boxtopus is just going to kill stuff. I, I'm not. I can't really stop Boxtopus. I think I want to wait for Bannerman. But the more fair version of Pale Cascade. Have it be three mana plus one plus one draw card instead of two mana plus two plus one draw card. I guess it was kind of a plus two plus two though because it turned on the Veil Temple as well. We were peaceful once. Once. Ooh, man! Now I wish I would have played the Bannerman. Lead our charge. Demacia, now and forever. I'm not gonna yeah I just don't want to swing with the stony because they could you know they can block with this stuff and yeah like they they have ways to, to pump they have hush I just I don't I think stony is pretty valuable it's, it only attacks for two damage and I just think it's a more valuable card with with like all these spells and stuff than just the two damage Which is also why I wanted to challenge the box to puss. I'll write my own story. Night flowers upon my plate. For the glory of Demacia. Alright, so no get excited. Or Hexcore Foundry. On top. Alright, so with open attacks, I just have the one blocker. I guess well they get to block the Cythria and that can block something else. Not a bad card. We will resist. You cannot hold us down. Oh, they drew guiding touch. That keeps them alive. Yeah, because we know we knew that the one card was the expensive celestial card, and then these don't do anything. So you know, like they they didn't have any cards in hand that did anything. Wow, Guiding Touch. Yeah, good draw. All right, so the game goes on. All right, we do have a Get Excited. Spell 
I had Sharp Sight and something else that's kind of random. All right, so we know that they're... Okay, so they, they basically have one card that could be... That has to be, like, the five mana card. I mean, I think that's game. That should definitely be game. And that finishes out the 5 0. Stony Suppressor. GG's. So this deck was really cool. Like, this is just a, a new version of Demacia here, but it, it worked really well. You got to slow your opponents down with Stony Suppressor. And then, it, like, these kind of Demacia decks, like, that's, like, the problem. They don't have the card advantage, right? Like, they'll you curve out a little bit, but if your opponent's, like, killing your stuff, if they play a Ruination, anything like that, the game's kind of over. Well, we did play against a whole lot of Targon decks that had a lot of card advantage, but we were just playing Hexcore Foundries, and so we both players drew an additional card. Well, whenever they have all the cards in the world anyway, them drawing an, ad an additional card does, doesn't help them too much, but it sure helped us a lot. Helped us get to our Get Excited, which Get Excited was clutch. We... You know, multiple times had get excited lethal that card was clutch um <clears throat> we never got to do anything cool with mobilize unfortunately you know like we never had a, a whole bunch of units and a mobilize we did have like the the very first game where we drew two mobilizes in the late game that looked really bad but we never act so we never actually cast this card so i could certainly see playing a third get excited and just two mobilize and switching those numbers around but you know you really want to be careful with bannerman of of playing uh non Demacia cards with Bannerman. That was cool. We were playing Ranger's Resolve because it's super cheap. You know, so like when Stony Suppressor increases it, it still only costs two mana. And you know, like how we're, our goal is to go wide and the Ranger's Resolve could help save uh, multiple bodies in combat for just one mana. Um, but the deck was really cool. So we got to go low to the ground and not worry about running out of cards with Hexcore Foundry. All right, so those, those of y'all on YouTube Hit that like button over there. And of course, leave those comments. Let me know what you think of Stony Bannerman. If you try this deck out yourself, let me know how you like it. And just all the decks, you know, like that's what we do here. We play tons of weird decks. Some of them work out really great. Some other others not. This one did work out really great. Um, so yeah, let me know what you think of these ideas. Which ones are your favorites? Um, what, other, what other ideas do you have that you want to see me build on stream? Always looking forward to that. All right, but anyway, that's it here for Stony Bannerman. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.